hi beautiful people you welcome back to our channel see joshua's funeral details has finally been released by the synagogue church of all nation if you are yet to subscribe to our youtube channel we hold you to please click on the red subscribe button to subscribe and also add the notification bell beside it god bless you and support you you know you do and if you're already a subscriber we say a very big thank you god bless you as well the synagogue church of all nations has released detail for the funeral of its founder, Prophet T.B. Joshua, who died on June 5. Like it earlier said, Joshua's funeral would be completed in a week, from July 5 to 11. Media mogul Dele Momodu, a friend to the late clergyman, posted a picture to Instagram on Friday night showing details on the funeral as released by the church. On July 5, a candlelight procession Will be held. A tribute service and service of songs slash all night praise will be held on July 6 and 7. Joshua will lie in state on July 8. The funeral service and interment will hold the following day, July 9. The funeral will be rounded off with a Thanksgiving service on July 11. The week long program will be broadcast live on Emmanuel TV. The church had earlier said Joshua would be buried at the church contrary to wishes by the traditional rulers in Arigidi Akoko, the prophet's hometown in Ondo. It has also assured its members that worship would not stop at the church following shutdown since Joshua's demise. It was reported that the televangelist T.B. Joshua died on in Lagos on Saturday evening after concluding a program at his church in the Cotton, and he was said to die at the age of 57. The cause of this, his death was not immediately disclosed by family sources, but family source said his remains had been since deposited at the morgue and an autopsy would be performed forthwith to ascertain the cause of his death. Synagogue on Sunday morning confirmed the death of the world-renowned cleric in a statement on the cause of the death of T.B. Joshua and how T.B. Joshua died. Surely the Sovereign Lord does, not, does nothing without revealing his plan to his servant, the Prophet. On Saturday 5th June 2021, Prophet T.B. Joshua spoke during the Emmanuel TV partner meeting. Time for everything, time to come here for prayer and time to return home after the service, the statement read. Many people have therefore reacted since the death of T.B. Joshua in a different way. And many have expressed their shock over the sad death of the man of God. The cause of his death was not known as said earlier. But the synagogue church of all nations has reacted to his death on their instagram page the wife of tb joshua evelyn joshua was also said to react to the death of her husband and has expressed the sadness and grief the family is currently going through she took to her twitter page to react and to mourn her husband she wrote losing the loved one is never easy whether sudden or foreseen it's always heartbreaking grief can break havoc on her overall well-being that's why it's important to stay rooted in the almighty only he can lessen our heart's ache and comfort us in these times seek refuge in him she also said what happened was an act of god there's time for everything like my husband will say this is the job he was known for this is what he was living for that is what he was going to die for so it did not come to me as a surprise i was not surprised when it happened as we all know it was in service that day so that's it it was also reported that squan elders have met and selected evelyn as tb joshua's successor as there was no succession plan for the church someone must take charge immediately and give spiritual direction on the mode of service continuity. So much spiritual and financial efforts went into building Squan and it cannot just waste away. A top head said, none of the pastors were trained to succeed him. 
I would have known if any exists. For now, the wife has taken charge. Evelyn, a senior squad pastor, confirmed the funeral arrangement when she received Lagos State Governor Abadjiri Sawolo and she said her husband's death came as a surprise. Evelyn was married to TV Joshua for 25 years and they, are, they have three children. One of their children, Sarah, is a lawyer and the third one, much information isn't known about her.